ever since the world first laid eyes on Mario, it created a fandom that would be incomparable to any other in video games. Many of us were first introduced to him in our childhood and grew up knowing the mustache plumber. But how well do we really know Mario? Yes, we know he always saves the princess, but you may be surprised to hear he also had a dark side that is rarely discussed. Hello! At a time when gaming was dominated by Namco's Pac-Man, Nintendo was eager to create a game to compete with it while also offering longevity. Famed developer Shigeru Miyamoto looked to accomplish this task by creating a game called Donkey Kong that would star characters from the Popeye the Sailor Man cartoons. Unfortunately for him, he was unable to get the rights to the characters and instead created a brand new character for players to control. Miyamoto's misfortune turned out to be the start of a legacy. When Miyamoto first conceptualized this character called Jumpman, he knew that he would have to utilize the limited graphic capabilities of early 1980s video games. So he decided to give Jumpman a simplistic design that would hide detailed human features, which was hard to animate with minimal pixels. Miyamoto designed Jumpman with a red hat to hide his hair moving as he ran, and gave him a large nose and mustache to cover up his mouth and avoid facial expressions. He wore red overalls and a blue shirt to pop off the screen in contrast to the game's background. His apparel also fell in line with his role as a carpenter. Yes, you heard me right, Mario was originally a carpenter. You see, Donkey Kong takes place in a construction site in New York City where Jumpman climbs ladders and jumps over barrels, hence his name to save his girlfriend from the evil ape named Donkey Kong. But things aren't exactly what they seem. Apparently Donkey Kong is Jumpman's pet ape and he's just acting out because he was mistreated by his owner, Jumpman. You're probably wondering why a carpenter has a pet ape in the Big Apple, and so am I, but that's besides the point because Mario was really the villain. Gaming's most iconic hero made mistakes too, however his villainy would be short-lived, but not without some questionable actions in Donkey Kong Jr. Speaking of Donkey Kong Jr., that would be the game that renamed Jumpman to Mario, which, fun fact, was named after Nintendo America's landlord. Even after all this, one question remains. How did Mario go from bad carpenter to pure plumber? According to Miyamoto, Mario's design was created to fit whatever game he appeared in. Donkey Kong is set in a construction site, so it makes sense that Mario is a carpenter. In 1983's Mario Brothers, most of the game takes place underground, and Mario has to defeat creatures coming up from the sewers. So, he's a plumber. Miyamoto also decided to set Mario in New York and made him Italian. With the release of Super Mario Bros., Nintendo had Mario return to his roots of saving a damsel in distress, which would become the core concept of the franchise. And let's face it, it's better than the alternative. From there, the rest is Mushroom Kingdom history.